Good morning and welcome to one and all. Honorable Vice Chancellor, respected faculty members, wardens, chief warden, proctor, panel of doctors, respected parents, my dear students. Just I'll briefly touch upon you know how Nalsar journey started from 1998 to present. Very briefly again, Nalsar created by Act 34 of 1998 to produce professionally competent technically sound and socially relevant lawyers. Of course, we we started our classes in Barkatpura, but we shifted here this campus on 17th July 2000. When we came here, when we shifted, this was a barrel land and you know who welcomed us? It is the snakes, frogs, insects and so on. Parents, don't worry, we displace them, nothing to worry. So that is the journey. Of course, when we were here, we do not have any facilities. We started our uh, classes in BH1, GH1. Only two hostels we used to have, the armatories of hostels. And we had uh, our vice chancellor used to sit in the name Priya and you know, run his administration. We had uh, all kinds of infrastructure, financial problems. But I am happy to say that within one decade, exactly 10th year, that is in 2008, Nalsar became a number one law university in India and uh, from that time onwards we are trying our best to be a number one or number two in spite of the constraints and financial difficulties. This is one. Let's start with the academic programs. Of course, we started with BA LLB program, then we have started LLM in 2001, MPhil PhD. Recently, we have also added a unique course of MBA, you know, court management. Then we have a proximity center which runs programs including uh, PG diploma in patent law, cyber law, media law, international humanitarian law. We also started the programs like unique programs like combining law with technology, law with management, to name a few masters in aviation law, air transport management, space technology with the telecommunication laws, GIS, remote sensing, master of defense and security laws, and so on, to cater the needs of the society. So that is what our program started. Of course, NALSAR is known for its moating. We organized and our students participate in best of the moats, whether name it, you know, Philip Jason, Stetson, Henry and Manfred Lax Mode Code competition, air law competition, you name anything. Might be observed last two days, my vice chancellor room is filled with the trophies. In my car doors are filled with the trophies. We have a constant of space. So that is the achievement of my students in Nalsar when it comes to course. And also, they also bag best of the fellowships. Start from the Rhodes Fellowship to Commonwealth Fellowship, Inlax Fellowship, all the best of the fellowships are you know, under by the Nalsar students. So I'm happy to share with you. Uh, another important uh, thing just I want to mention is that we have a vibrant student faculty exchange programs. Nalsar has a 31 MOUs so far across the globe, best of the universities across the world. We have a student fa faculty exchange. Uh, Around 20 students every year we send, and we also receive some students from other uh, you know, best of the uh, universities across the world. Uh, we have also, I want to inform you students, we have uh, almost 45 gold, gold medals we have for both LLB and LLM. If you work hard, you will get, you know, good uh, gold medals also. This is an incentive. Of course, everybody is curious about the placements. Other uh, my colleagues are going to talk about, but we have, last 15 years I can say that we have 100% placement. Some, sometimes we say more than 100% because the, some of the law firms, you know, companies go back without having a student. That is the credibility of placements in Nalsar for last 15 years. But don't take it for granted. Now new law schools are coming. Now competition is increasing. By the time you... Uh, passed out, maybe going to be a difficult. So today, mantra is perform or perish. I you know, request students do hard work. Uh, of course, we have a one criticism against Nalsar, generally or some of the law schools, say that you produce only corporate lawyers. They are not going to contribute much to the bar and bench. Yes, we agree to some extent, but Nalsar, we are cautious about our academic social responsibility from the beginning. We started our programs, clinic programs in 2000, uh, adapting nearby villages, whether it's a family law or you know, land-related clinics, and we train a lot of people. So Nalsar also give training to, uh, no, when I say academic social responsibility, 
academic social responsibility at two levels. One is we involve a lot of drafting, legislative drafting the, for the government of India, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Start from the AP Rent Control Act, then you know uh, disability legislation. We are part of uh, you know disability legislation. Then we have also drafted Land Acquisition Act, dotted lands. So then marketing rules, penal justice rules, and penal justice uh, you know uh, marketing act. So on. Just I want to mention one you know the drafting uh, uh, to name. The recently the government of Telangana has assigned a project to the Nalsar. Uh, land and revenue loss after you know formation of new state. So when we took this assignment, it was around 60, 70 legislations. But by the time we finished the task, we ended with 112 legislations. We studied all those legislations. We recommended, we recommended for a deletion. We recommended for uh, you know amendments and so on. Most of the recommendations are carried out by the government, and we are happy to say, you know, uh, our recommendations are implementing the government of Telangana and other states. Perhaps this is the first time in the history of any law school in one go doing more than 100 legislations. That is what Nalsar, when we say. Other important academic social responsibility we undertook is the training programs. We impart training to central government, state government employees, judicial officers, I know, revenue officers, and so on. One training program I would like to mention is a paralegal program. We started paralegal voluntary program in 2006. NALSA trained 500 paralegals and in turn those paralegals now working in government of both AP and Telangana, they resolved so far land and other you know, issues more than a million. So this was the credit of NALSAR when we talk about the you know, social responsibility, helping the poor, more than 1 million. That is 10 to 12 lakhs people got benefited with the NALSAR paralegal program. We are also continuing the programs. As and when any requirement comes, now both government of AP and Telangana is referring. I want to mention one more instance. Recently, government of Telangana announced Sada Bainama regulations. When they announced the uh, Sadabainama regulations, they approached NALSA to prepare a material. Our team prepared material and they know, gave it to the revenue officers. And today they are resolving these Sadabainama regulations based on the NALSA material which we produced. That is what the NALSA academic uh, social responsibility, I say. Of course, uh, friends, uh, one more important event. We are you know, hosting lots of conferences, national and international. We have done earlier also like Manfred Space Law Moot Court competition and so on. But one important event we are going to organize this year, September 3rd to 10th is we are going to host IDI, Institute de Doha International. That's called Institute of International Law. This is an organization which was established way back in 1873. It got Nobel Prize in 1904. First international organization to get Nobel Prize. They hold sessions only Europe, outside Europe, to my knowledge, only four times. Uh, in Asia, in 2013, they hosted in Tokyo, and first time in India, uh, in uh, you know, Telangana, Hyderabad, we are hosting in Nalsar. I am happy to share with you. Already, lots of uh, galaxy of international lawyers, the law professors, judges, including out of 15 ICJ judges, nine confirmed. I am happy to share with you again. So all these we are going to host uh, this prestigious session uh, in next two months. So with this, maybe I just, uh, uh, dear students, uh, I reminded the words of Ratan Tata, one minute can't change your life, but utilization of every minute will definitely change your life. Uh, do hard work. I wish you all the best for your present and future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you.